Aloha everybody, Gabe here from the Hawaii Institute of Self-Reliance, His Survival. Welcome back, mahalo for watching. Today I'm by the coast gathering some food, coastal foraging. This is the OPE. That's basically what I'm down here to gather. It's, uh, it sticks on the rocks. You gotta be careful uh, gathering them because you gotta have one eye on the ocean just in case a wave comes and you're not expecting it and you can get bashed against the rocks real easy because the best way to find these is to go by the rocks where the waves are hitting and you find them on the rock attached to it and so they're kind of hard to get off you have to pry it off so don't go away and check out how to gather some OPE oh yeah delicious This is Chinaman's hat, or loom pent, or we call it opii. Everything is edible, but the shell, you can eat it raw, you can cook it. It's got plenty of vitamins, minerals, and protein. You just gotta be careful when collecting them. It's very dangerous. When you're picking OPE, try not to turn your back to the ocean. And this one. Got it. There we go. OPE. Right next to the ocean. It's very dangerous to gather this. So be very aware of what you're doing. It was worth it. Got two of them. Here we have a dead ironwood tree. This will make Perfect firewood.
going to use some jute to make sure this is going to start up. I always bring tinder. Always bring dry tinder, right? Now I'll use some other tinder gathered from the ground, but this is just to make sure. Now when you gather on the ground, just pick off the very top layer. So I've got my OPE right here, and I'm going to cook them. So, oh, dropping out. I'm just gonna lay them on the fire like this, and they should cook real nice. These ones are a little small, so I'm gonna throw them back. Let them grow. This one's a little small. They're starting to cook real quick. Like that one I think it's done. Oh no. I lost one in the fire. It's okay. A little ash. Never hurt anyone. There we go. more to cook. They cook real fast, so I'm not gonna, this technique will work. Okay, so I'm gonna cook these two. And this one's a little small. I'm gonna throw it away. What do we got here? Woo! This one's hot right here. Some more PE. Yeah, you don't want to eat this part. Cut it off like that. And you want to just eat this part right here. Oh yeah. You don't want to eat the guts and the other stuff. Bon appetit. Very chewy. Oh yeah. So I was successful cooking some OPE and picking some. Remember, you want to pick them when they're about a silver dollar or bigger. So bigger than a quarter. I threw a couple back, but I wanted to illustrate that you could, in a survival situation, gather quite a bit of protein in about 20 minutes. So that's, you know, you just throw them back, you just don't eat them, you know. And also there's a little trick. If you don't get them in the beginning, you get your knife under there, you pry them off right away, you could have trouble. And it takes a little bit longer. And that's how people get trouble they, they go down think they're gonna get it real quick they don't they give that second uh, attention to it and not to the wave and the wave comes hits you and then you get washed out so it's very uh, very dangerous so you just got to watch that and be careful of that and that's the big thing because a lot of PE pickers uh, are, go missing and get killed out here so be careful. And I was going out alone, which is not good. I was staying in safe spots and I wasn't gonna risk getting a huge bag of OPE. Just to show you guys, uh, maybe another video. 
and I go out with a buddy or something. And honestly, I haven't been serious with PE picking in a long time. Uh, a long time. I mean, he, one, you know, once in a while, here and there, because you're just fishing by the coast. But this was a dedicated OPE gathering. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was uh, fun making this video. It's awesome. And I hope you subscribe. Make sure you comment, like, and all that good jazz. And until next time, aloha.